it was a tribute to the, uh, the second air division. Right? It was our, our tribute to them for allowing us to be here today. The tribute is that if they didn't do the business 50 years ago, we wouldn't be here today.
Show, God of honor, ready for your command. Sir. All in. 
number two, flight commander. March on the standards of 6, 41, and 54 squadrons. General Salute, present!
Guard of Honor and the standards of 6, 41, and 54 squadrons paraded for your inspection, sir.
ceremony will complete with permission to march past and off the right. Okay. And the party. Hey, Bob. Turn. How did you like that performance? Oh, it was wonderful. You, you, you That's you great. That. But did you see that yank in there? I'm sure you got him. Captain playing a trombone. Anyway, <laughs> good to see you again.
Stand there and look yeah. dapper. Why? Oh, he's the, there's the man with the sword. Look, he's the man. He's the boy. Of, boy he's of the boy. one. <laughs> I've been he's coming here and that lad. All right, Hollywood next. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're missing a button. Yeah, I know. The sword's supposed to sit over oh, there. Oh, okay. I better <laughs> hold the sword up, didn't I? I see. So, what do you know about the second air division? Uh, not a lot, I must confess. Okay. What are you I guys just, doing here today? Um, we were parading the squadron standards of 6, 41, and 54, uh, who are all based at Coltshall, flying Jaguars. And uh, we're just presenting the standards in honour of the second Air Force. So. How often do you do uh, about three or four times a year. Um, usually on base, though. It's uh, it's not very often that we actually come into Norwich to do that sort of thing. Well, who would you present them to on the base? What kind of uh, base? Our air officer commanding, who will be a uh, air vice marshal, that sort of thing. Uh, or the other occasion that Six Squadron in particular brings its uh, its standard out into Norwich is with the Desert Rats, because. Uh, during the period we're talking about in 4042, uh, Six Squadron was actually out in North Africa, and uh, I'm sure you've heard of the Desert Rats from there, and they have actually quite a large following in this area as well. So we take our standard along to the Desert Rats functions that are held annually in Norwich. So that sort of thing. So how long have you been on the base? Uh, I've been two years. Um, flying Jaguars for that time, and then I'm, I'm going on to fly Tornadoes at the end of this year. which. Would be interesting and different. What's your name? Gary Williams. Flight Lieutenant. Yeah, which is captain equivalent. Go ahead. That's nice. Is that your very own sword? No, it's not. Do you have to sign those out? They're Air Force owned. It's a Wilkinson. Mm hmm. Made by the very same company. Sharp enough to shave with. Sharp enough to stab people with. It's the actual there's uh, next to no edge on it, but it's it's very much a stabbing sword. And uh, unfortunately, for most of the most of the Air Force squadrons, that meant that the Second World War actually got into the way of that, and we were actually presented with. Most of the Air Force squadrons were present, presented with their standards after the Second World War. In the case of Six Squadron, which I'm with, that was uh, during the reign of King George, which meant that uh, our original standard had a king's crown on it. Uh, they then replaced the standards after 25 years service and lay up the old one. Now our old standard is laid up in, uh, in a church near the station in Lamas. And then we get presented with a new standard. This. Our current standard. Feel the cloth. Oh, that is beautiful. And, of course, that's not, uh, those aren't the only places the squadron has been to. Six One has actually spent a lot of its time uh, abroad. I only came back to this country in around the, the mid 60s. Uh, after that time, they've been in North Africa and the Middle East, uh, spending a lot of time in Georgia, Jordan and Libya. And it stays there until there's a pole hanging up in the church. So they put them in a cathedral? There are some in the north. The church of the squadron's choice, really. Oh. Um, you, I'm not too sure if there are any in Norwich Cathedral. I don't think there's any Air Force. There are no Air Force. The, no, they're all Army. The church that actually holds holds our old one and 54 Squadron's old one is uh, within a couple of miles of of Cultural uh, Lamas Church, and they are standing there side by side, just waiting to become poles. Right. I actually need some help with this, if possible. Before I put the cover on, you feel the weight of it. Oh, great! No. It's as heavy as our camera. Imagine if you're holding it, which is what we were doing. Just right down there. like this. 
it's very heavy. You kept the strong biceps. <laughs> Not me, I'm a skinny chap. It, it was a tribute to the, uh, the second air division, and it was our, our tribute to them for allowing us to be here today. And uh, when the two nations work together, it's proud, it's good. It works well. Did you enjoy it? Super. So what we did tonight was, we, this was not a normal parade. This was a parade that I designed about 10 days ago uh, to give you an American theme. Uh, and we didn't take the glory. So the hence the band at the end played the Air Force March, or the American Air Force March, and we played the American National Anthem as well, uh, alongside ours. So I think that sums it up, really. It's a good night. Super. And I am actually the parade adjutant. So I actually trained all the troops and uh, yeah, stuck them on parade. We're going to be leaving you. Much obliged. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Right, uh, tonight we had two standards on here tonight, off numbers 41 Squadron and 54 Squadron, who are Battle of Britain squadrons. We actually fought in the Battle of Britain. And the other standard, 6 Squadron, are uh, the longest serving continuous squadron in the Royal Air Force. They have never been disbanded. They've always been formed and gone from aircraft to aircraft. And at the moment, all three squadrons fly Jaguars at this time. I really enjoyed the band. Well, I hope it did. There was a lot of tears. Yeah. A lot of tears there. And it was nice to hear everybody singing the national anthem. I wish people would sing our national anthem as much as you did here today. But uh, this is the biggest crowd we've had in Norwich for 15 years. You should have been at the football ground. You don't get as big a crowd as this at the football ground, you know, for Norwich City. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, should I? <laughs> no, but it was good. What do you think of the Americans coming back? Well, very much so. We're very pleased to see them. Uh, as I say, the tribute is, that if they didn't do the business 50 years ago, we wouldn't be here today. So we're now in a democratic society uh, because we work together. It's a pity that there were so many of them lost, 6,800, whatever it was. But I'm glad the ones that are still alive could come back today. And uh, if this is the last one, I hope we've done them proud tonight.